what we're really hoping to do at Woosh Innovations is to provide a new platform um, from which to think about fish passage and fish, the movement of live migratory species. Short transport, if you will, of objects uh, using a localized pressure differential. So a totally new way of moving uh, any kind of object, but we focused on uh, initially fresh fruit and fish, both very sensitive to bruising or, and or damage. We have creeks and rivers and tributaries throughout the Pacific Northwest that no longer have salmon, the water, the birds, the bugs, the wildlife, the trees. Salmon affect every single part of that ecosystem. And that's really what we're saying here is that, hey, the fish, give the fish a chance to recover, get them back to the tributaries and to those areas where they can successfully reproduce, and they will reproduce. If we don't allow them to get there, we're not giving them a chance. Our goal is to restore these species, hopefully to their historic levels, and we can begin to do that today. We have a solution for fish passage that didn't exist previously. There's two ways that we think about the Woosh system. One is fish passage, that's getting fish up over barriers and streams and rivers. And the other is fish handling, that's in processing plants and hatcheries and so forth, where the fish are actually handled and moved. Originally, we had created a system for the harvest of specialty crops. We literally looked at each other one day and said, well, could we put a fish in? If we are not bruising very delicate pieces of fruit, golden delicious apples, peaches, plums, tomatoes, we really had a sense that we were not going to be harming a live migratory species that sees more activity in a river than any apple on a tree. My first reaction is we could open up salmon runs to waterways where it's now very difficult or very costly. And it's a little surprising that somebody hasn't come up with a device like this a little bit sooner that really kind of takes the mystery out of how to get fish from one location to another without damaging them. It's really very simple. We're allowing the fish to migrate, to pass barriers, how they want to do that. They leave water for a little short period of time and we are simply encouraging the fish to do what they do naturally. Once they go that first step, they literally are swimming directly into the whoosh system when they come over a what we call a false waterfall. The fish doesn't feel much at all. It's the pressure of about two to three feet of water around each of those fish. So nothing that they haven't seen in their natural environment to begin with. It is a soft, flexible material. The inside friction is it's almost zero. It's a gentle transport because the fish itself, when they're in this tube, isn't encountering anything hard. In fact, uh, you can put your hand right in and pull your hand right back out and it feels like a light breeze in there. To the fish, because it forms that seal, they're essentially sailing downwind or upwind, so the fish doesn't feel much at all. The whoosh system is really a fish-friendly process. We have had several studies now completed over the, the last five years um, by both state, federal, and tribal organizations. And those studies have tested the physiological effects. Stress, slime, scale, any issues with eyes. And all of those studies that have come back have indicated that there is no negative impact from the whoosh tube on these species themselves. And we have been encouraged through the scientific community to continue to develop and install these systems. We're not having any damage to the fish. We're not losing any slime or scales, no damage to eyes. Um, stress levels on the fish are, are maintained at low levels. So all in all, this is an efficient and gentle method to transport live migratory species. Well, my reaction is cool. Right, so, I mean, besides kind of the scientific and technology questions, it's just a really interesting technology to move fish around in ways that could be used in a lot of different applications. Our system can be set up in a matter of days. There aren't a lot of moving parts, and our transport system uses less water than traditional methods of fish transport. It also uses less electricity we can efficiently transport fish up long distances, and we can operate even in a temporary scenario. And one of the things that we try to emphasize is that uh, the cost is so much less. With our system, you can do five or 10 systems that you might otherwise only have been able to do one fish ladder. The city's looking at replacing our dam structures, and as part of that, we'd have to do uh, new fish ladders and fish passage. And uh, it frustrates me to spend you know, millions of dollars on a fish ladder that only works you know, marginally, where uh, the success race with the WISH system is just 
really pretty amazing actually comparatively and you get the fish exactly where you need to go. There is really no barrier existing today that is too big. We are able to transport fish today very quickly, 20 to 30 feet a second. Let's really visualize how far we can move a fish in 30 seconds and that is hundreds of feet in that scenario. Systems can be installed at all of these dams along the Columbia Basin and around the entire world quickly and efficiently. We're asking the fish to do what they want to do anyway. Leave the water just for a second or two and we'll help you get over that barrier. That's what it's about. It is a simple, gentle, cost-effective, sustainable system. Here's a solution. You ought to look at it because it is less expensive, it does not take years, and, uh, and it can be done probably more safely than you've ever been able to do it before for the fish. It's here now.